Hi, I'm Chris from AirWindows, and I'd like to show you my latest compressor plugin, Purist Squish. This has been under wraps for a little while because I was busy developing it. When I thought that I was done with it, I had another idea for it and uh, kept going. What I'm going to do now is play you a track that's actually a premixed track that I've already uh, used and show you what Purist Squish is like against Logical. Now Logical was my take on a really accurate sounding uh, SSL bus compressor, which I'm no longer quite so into doing the digital emulations of analog that's other people's property, but considering that that was my previous best, and depending upon your taste, may still be the best um, two bus compressor, that's clearly the one that I need to shoot out against. What we've got is a piece of music here. And what we can do is cut in logical and then also um, pure squish. For instance, here's logical. Being this had to push fairly hard. Right? and bring in the bass in there and pure squish is like this now the thing to understand about this is logical 3 is does a pretty good job of emulating hardware purest squish is a conceptual idea it is um kind of the idea of compression refined downwards until it does what I want it to do without any attempt at resembling um, other people's audio hardware. So what you'll hear is that Logical has this particular kind of air about the highs. There's a flavor to it. People have considered that like hit record sound and so on. Pure as squish is pure. It's running 80-bit um, internal processing and everything about it is designed to color the tone as little as possible. It's letting as much of the textures of the sounds through. So what you'll hear as I um, cut it in and out is it's not giving the sound. Giving sounds of analog hardware is very popular these days. Pure Squish is a step away from that and you might just like it for a variety of reasons, but here's one. We'll go back into this. Logical. And then pure squish. Now, what you might have noticed there is that the highs don't have that sort of... Um, hit record large console tis going on. But there's another control here that might interest you and it is called bass bloom. And what this is is a um, high pass filter on the sense circuit. Nothing more, nothing less. I've been asked for this and this is Pure Squish is the plugin that I'm working on currently. And also the thing about logical is that's intended to act like another device. I don't feel I can just throw random things into it. But Pure Squish, it doesn't even use the same, you know, logical uses pretty normal um, compressor controls. Pure Squish, you just turn it up until you get the sound that you wish. And what this bass bloom control does is this listen to the low end. whole bottom end of the mix is getting a lot bigger. Now one thing you can also do with Pure Squish is exaggerate it. Like this will let you push it pretty far. And this is what it sounds like when you're pushing it too far.
Now by comparison, cranking up the rate to on log triple three, maybe increasing the reaction speed a little bit. Now this is a pretty well behaved compressor, but you compare that to what Pure Squish does. This is more of a wild animal of a compressor. You want to tone it back. And work with it this way. But when you're boosting it this much, you can also do stuff like the bass boom. Now that's a really huge bass coming out there. Bass bloom can also be turned up very high and it will sort of boost the body of instruments and squish on the top of the instruments. That's a different kind of tone. And it's fairly low CPU. Technically what we're seeing here is it's no CPU, but that's not actually true. But you do see a slight difference in that Logical is using a tiny little scrap of CPU there. Whereas when we put turns to Pure Squish in, and it's doing absolutely nothing. Base boom in the middle will tend to uh, bring out only the very lowest things. And then down here, you're really looking at subsonics. Up here, it's getting more into the bass mid kind of range. The thing with the purest plugins is that they don't change the overall tone of things if you don't want them to. Like, if I take bass bloom out and do a little gain matching here. The tonalities of these things are not being altered very drastically by cutting in the compressor. Even with a pretty extensive amount of compression in there, you're just not getting a tonal picture change. It's leaving stuff pretty much the way that it is. Now that's not the case with Logical. Logical gives a sound. It's designed to give a sound. But Paris Game is for when you want to just do the compression thing and not touch the tone. Pure Squish is 50 bucks. It is an audio unit plug-in along with the other ones that I do. And it's the latest in the purest line where I'm trying to just hang on to as much tone as possible. It's the opposite of your tone sucking over processing plugins where you put it through and there's always a sound and you're supposed to like the sound. I'm kind of like, no, 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 that's not how things are supposed to be. We don't have to do that in digital. We don't have to give stuff sounds just to get away from the inadequate sound of raw digital um, summing and all that kind of stuff. What you want to do is hang on to as much tone as possible and do what you need to do in the mix to make it sound right. I think Pure Squish will be a really good addition to being able to do that, and I know that I have some users who would really like this Bass Bloom feature. So, again, it's $50, and I really hope you like it. Thanks.